What was your aim with this exhibition? My target with this exhibition is to allow the public to enter into a 15th century workshop and especially that of Botticelli, who, who had a very important workshop and developed successful strategies to develop his art through a career that lasted for about 40 to 50 years. So it was because there were a lot of polemics recently about what is a Botticelli or not, etc. And so what you want to demonstrate is that it's a complex system, right? It's a very complex system, but also it challenges our understanding of what is a Renaissance work of art. A Renaissance work of art is per se collaborative. There's always uh, several hands at work on, on a painting, and that doesn't um, put into question the authenticity of the artwork. It was designed by the master, and sometimes he delegated some part of the, of the artwork to be finished by his collaborators. And this is why we entitled the exhibition Botticelli Artist and Designer, because he was a designer in the very modern sense um, of the term. And uh, we can see in the exhibition that he established a principle of paradigm. There are some figures that he is repeating in different style, in different objects, yes, materials. He, he reused motifs. He had a vast repertory of motifs, a stock of images within his workshop. And he used these motifs, combined them together to create different compositions and different replicas that have some kind of relationship but differs every time. Uh, differs every time. So you, you don't have the sense of repetition. It's always a sense of declination, if I may say so. So in Renaissance painting, nothing is simple, right? In Renaissance painting, nothing is simple, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a great collaborative work. And, and this is what is very important to understand. It really challenges our modern notion of the work of the artist. We are not in the 19th century. There is no artist facing his uh, easel painting alone. It's, it's a very different uh, setup. Merci. Merci.